constant variables, it is good practice to minimize the use of literal numbers and to instead represent them using variables. If the value of the variable doesn't change, such as the value of pi, then we can make it a constant variable by using the keyword final. And here is an example of the syntax for creating constants. It's the word final, the data type, the name of the variable, and notice that the name of the variable is in all caps using underscores to separate words, and it's assigned to a value. And once a constant is initialized, its value cannot be changed. And by convention, constants are all uppercase and the words are separated by the underscore character. That's so if somebody can look at your code and quickly realize that, hey, that's a constant because it's all capital letters. Let's try this out. So let's declare a variable to hold the value of pi. Saying double pi is 3.14. And now let's print that out. System.out.print line. And there's pi. And it prints out. It's fine and everything's great. But let's say later on you decided that, you know what, I don't like the value of pi. I don't think it should be 3.14. I think it should be 5.27. And now the value of pi is completely messed up and you can't calculate the area of a circle anymore and you know the world's gone crazy because the value of pi has changed and you want to prevent that from happening in your code. So what you could do is just simply stick the word final in front of the word double pi and now you get an error when you're trying to reassign pi to a new value because it says the final local variable pi cannot be assigned. This because we made it final, so we can no longer reassign the value of pi. It's permanently 3.14. And because we made pi a constant variable using the keyword final, you want to make sure that its variable name is all capital letters, like that, pi. So don't forget to rename it when you're printing it out. And there's the value of pi. Another example of a constant could be the sales tax, for example, final double sales tax it could be 8.75 let's say and notice that the variable name is all caps with an underscore in between and usually when programmers declare a bunch of constants they're usually done outside of the main method actually up here so I'm gonna move these up here and and I'm gonna stick the words public static in front of them And these are now my two constants declared outside of my main method, but still within my class. And it works the same way. I can still print out the value of pi. But the nice thing about having them static and public is that you can access these constant variables in other files. So you don't have to declare them twice or declare them in anywhere else. So they're, they're all in just one central location. And you can go to any other program. I mean, let's just go to... Let's create a new class called constant demo2, add a main method in there, and now I can simply print out the value of pi. But if I do it this way, it's not going to work, you can't find it. Because I made pi a static variable, I can find the name of the class that it was declared inside, constant demo. I'm going to copy this name, I'm going to go back here and paste constant demo and change it to dot pi and now it works and I can actually print out the value of pi from this class where I didn't even declare any variables at all just pulling it from that other file as long as that file is in the same package or if, or as long as we've imported it into this class either way will work so but in this example we didn't have to say the class name dot variable name because we're already in the same class so it's able to find it but you could have done the same thing by saying constant demo dot pi and it makes no difference in this case